Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Blue Mana Banana and this is Mass Effect. Down, yep, thank you Dr. Tassoni. Uh, she just said we have a one-way trip down. Oh yeah, that's that's why. I don't think we can actually move through this barrier. We are on Pharos, just to clarify that. In the last episode we made our way... Our weapons cannot touch a field like this. We'll need another way in. Yeah, thank you Liara. Uh, we actually are on Pharos, we made our way um, through the Protheon Skyway, and we are now at the Exogeny Headquarters, I think. So it looks like a one-way trip down here, even though this looks like you could easily climb up, but... Oh, well, whatever. And uh, yeah, so let's see what the Exogeny Headquarters have in store for us. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Varen. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth, it's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. Oh, okay. That sounds weirdly... That, that sounds really weird, actually. Exo isn't Exogeny a more like um, a colony type company that's trying to just establish colonies all over the place? Anyway, what's a Thorian? What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I, I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Yeah, well, we have weapons for, uh, you know, the Geth problem, so... I really want to know what kind of, you know, what Thorian is. But let's ask some personal question first. I mean, it's it's obviously Lisbeth, uh, that's the daughter of this um, other Baneham uh, girl that we saw a woman that we saw earlier in the survivors camp, but let's ask her about all of these things. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years even. Okay, that is very old. But, you know, it's a plant, so... As long as no vegetarians are around, I guess, it can survive for thousands of years. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but... I don't think they found anything special. I don't trust her. But okay, company secrets and stuff, but still, I don't know if she's... I, I have the feeling she knows more than she's letting on, but okay. Let's try and get rid of um, the energy field first and then worry about the rest later. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. Oh, would you look at that? We're immediately attacked. Um, let's go and lift up this guy, just for good measure. And Rex warp that one. Because I'm an asshole like that. Oh! And maybe we need a singularity. Thank you. Man, a singularity is hilarious. That's pretty good. 
against uh, melee troops. It's amazingly fun. Interesting. We are still in... Not really in combat, but... You okay hey. here? As soon as you go, I'm gonna find a place to hide. Alright. Good luck with that field. Yeah, thanks. Let's jump down here. Let's get the guns out again. Hmm. This doesn't really look like a safe place, but you wanna stay there? Fine. On the other hand, doesn't look like there is any place that's really safe here, uh, safe around here anyway, so. Hmm. Where to is my question. Oh, over there, I guess. Yep, that looks like a door. Alright, let's see. So we know there are geth everywhere, so I think we're going to save. Also, we have a side mission here. Stupid machine! Access encrypted files! No, I don't want to review protocol. A Krogan commander, eh? That doesn't I sound... I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Alright, uh, thank you, Mr. B.I., for giving us away. Uh, Liara, I think you're gonna lift that guy. Thank you. Man, lift is really great. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Oh yeah, we have her ID, right? I just wanted to remind him that we are not staff, but we have her ID card, so this, this we I thinks we are uh, Lisbeth. What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. Wait a minute. Sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope? What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Hmm. That suspiciously sounds really like what Saren wants. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you kidding me? They just lured some colonists here to infect them with... Uh, ...mind-controlling spores? Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That explains their strange behavior. Should we inform your pilot? Yeah, actually I think it's a good idea. Uh, since they are in port there and, you know, those people are, are infected. Also, they might want to, you know, increase their air filtering. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. Exactly. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. 
I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. That is weird. I mean, it looks like they actually, um, they actually stumbled up upon this on an accident. They kind of ran in, you know, they were just exploring some, some ruins, which is not bad at all, seeing that this is a Prothean, uh, you know, a Prothean planet, or was a Prothean planet. So there could have been a lot of interesting technology here. So it seems like they actually um, did not really infect its, their people on purpose. But then we're like, well, since they're infected already, we might want to study them. Uh, let's ask even more about this, because this is, this is strange. And we really need to know more about this, I think. Especially since it's one of the things that Saren wants here, right? Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. All right, that explains the guy in the sewers or in the utility area. You remember that guy the, who was invoking the master's whip? So this Thorian thing is the master in this case. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Hmm. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. Hmm. All right, I think we know m mostly everything we want to. Let's ask about Exogeny, though. Um, just to make sure we are not missing anything. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Hmm. All right, then. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. Yeah, yeah, go to standby mode. I think we actually learned a lot here. It really seems like the Thorian thing is something that Garen would want. Uh, Garen, that Saren, of course, would want. Uh, it makes the most sense. I mean, mind controlling people, that's powerful, isn't it? So let's just see. I can. S Boom. Get dealt with. Oh, we snuck on them. They Looks didn't like know what's coming. These claws to anchor that ship to the side of the building. Indelicate, perhaps, but very efficient. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? We need a way to give it a kick. Let's check the other claws. Damn things can't be perfect. Uh, true enough. 
But they didn't suspect a thing. A glowing orb. Hmm. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? Whatever. I ain't here to learn their customs. <laughs> yep, you're here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? Whatever. I ain't here to learn their customs. It is interesting though, weren't they kind of kneeling while we ambushed them? Hostile contact. Yeah, thank you, Liara, I know, but you're in my Wait, I wanted that cover. I actually want a barrier now. Oh, I didn't use barrier, I'm an idiot. I really need to... Uh, yeah, I really need to... Learn my shortcuts. Wow. I think the Ara just used tech explosion on that guy. Clear. Okay, so there is a barrier here. We should remember this. Hopefully I do. Hmm, that's a way up. I don't know, I, I feel like this orange glowing, I don't know, uh, hallway here looks a little bit better. Hmm, okay, down seems to be blocked. Just make sure, yep, it's blocked. Let's try up then. And we're jammed again, that's interesting. Seems to be this way then. Hmm. I don't like this actually, it's a maze. Yeah, that looks like a place for an ambush. Whoa, what the freak? That scared the hell out of me. Whew. Sorry. Uh, let's go for barrier, of course. It would be stupid not to. Where are we going, getting damaged from? And why can't I fire my. I want to discharge this weapon, freaking hell. Come on, Rex, let me through here. And that should be it. This kind of looks like the way forward, if you ask me. Still jammed, eh? Might want to try the other way first. Huh. I fear we do not have the needed gear to destroy this claw. We will have to keep looking. Okay. That is a Geth destroyer, isn't it? I I feel like we're in, I don't want to be here at the moment. Okay, you know what? Let's quick save and oh, we can't of course. But uh okay, let's let's do this. Let's go for a Carnage and try to snipe those guys. Ah, god freaking damn it, that hurt. Rocket Trooper, not too bad. Shock Trooper, also not too bad. I think we actually dealt with the big guy with uh, by using this Carnage thing. Oh, no, we didn't. That destroyer is right there. Uh. We don't have any CC left other than our our uh, throw, I think it was. Uh, once again, destroyed by biotic powers. They appear to have grappled through some sort of containment lab. It's no armory, but tear up even one claw and that ship is gone. Okay. That sounds easy enough then. Uh, decryption's low. Geth Terminal, Decryption, Skill to Low. Server Node, Skill to Low. Activate Shuttle Bay, okay. Uh, you find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damned door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower. And the safety shutoff kicks in if the PSI gets above 34. But if the PSI is within the 3134 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shear through metal. Oh, that is good. So we need to go between uh, 31 and 34. And I'm thinking this is a... Yep. 
this is once again some kind of puzzle. I think that's a that's that's that should be possible. Okay, let's see. So thirteen plus eleven would be twenty four plus seventeen, and we're over the limit. But seventeen, what what's the minimum that we can do? Five. Hmm. Five plus seventeen is what twenty two. Twenty two plus eleven is yeah, that should do it. So five, seventeen, eleven. Warning high pressure. That should do it, right? There we go. My math skills coming through. That's actually pretty surprising. Uh, please don't destroy the whole tower while falling down, if possible. Thank you very much. Well done. Our way out should be clear now. We can go address this Thorian issue. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of geth and end things off with a huge crash. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Okay. No timer, though. Please. Thank you. Hmm. Actually, I want to see what, what, what's, what was that way, but let's... I don't know. Let's try and see if maybe this is a loop. Nope, it's not. It's just a small balcony area with a crate that we can't open. All right. Seems fair enough. So I think we might go a little bit longer on this episode. Um, we are not done yet. I think moving through the whole Exogeny Corporation building might take another 10, 15 minutes. Should be all right, hopefully. I mean, we, we did the main thing, right? How, how much longer could it be? Ah, decryption to low. I really need to take somebody with uh, decryption with us. But I can't. Can't. Just love this party. Alright, seems actually pretty clear. Despite the fact that uh, we just said that this place will be crawling with Geth. Well, we said in a minute, so we still have some time. So that's the way that we didn't check out last time. So let's just try and see what's here. Enemies ahead. That's a good sign, actually, I think. Can I can a quick save. Yeah, good. Oh, no, Krogans. That is really bad. Why is Liara blocked? I don't like that. Unless Stasis, one of them, one of them, as is really important, I think. Now I'm ready. Oh, this guy is Stasis. No, he is not. Uh, then throw him back, please. If possible. Wow. <coughs> the arrow has a pretty hard throw. I mean, yeah, we we skilled it. Oh, that guy isn't even dead. Now he is, I think. And last but not least, I think I don't. I think we're going to use our own throw here. Bam! And once he gets up, rock this guy in the face. I'd land on the ground. The thing is, I think these Krogans have some kind of uh, really fast regeneration mode. If they fall over, go to kind of a stasis mode or something, and uh, then they just regenerate really fast. Doesn't matter, we got the better of them. And we effectively blocked our, our way through here. Great, awesome. It's amazing. I could, can we move that? Get out of the way, stupid bed. And there we go, that's better. Ah, throw isn't ready yet. 
You know, shotgun. Ah, that should be... It should be good enough. So the console. Great, that's exactly what we wanted. Got the data. Got a codex and decryption to load, as usual. Awesome. Good, so another side quest down that's actually also pretty nice. Maybe we get a lot of XP for it. I don't know why, but I love leveling up. I really don't like games where you... I mean, I don't like games is a little bit hard to say, but... Uh, I kind of don't like games where you have... You know, le you lo level up really slowly and do not really see progress. Are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. Yeah, really? You think? I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. Yeah, sure, that sounds like she wants to save her ass now, but... Go into the gullible. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Fair enough. I mean, as she said, it has unique mind control capabilities, right? So, let's take a look at this, um, this door over there. Damn it, it's still decryption too low. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there are enemies in there. See, as, as soon as we get close to this, um... Yeah. Oh yeah, you can hear it. As soon as you get close to the store, uh, we get the Raider Jam. So, must be that. Anyways, I think we're going to make our way back in the next episode. So if you like what you saw, then please consider pressing the like button. Helps me out a great deal, and I hope I see you next time. When we make our way back to the colony and uh, see what this Thorin is all about. So thanks for watching and as always, Auf Wiedersehen.